Good morning. Welcome to your Saturday morning, early morning intuitive guidance. Way earlier than usual because, well, several things. I attempted to take TJ out for his morning walk and uh, it was pouring rain and we got down to the corner and there was a thunderclap and that was the end of that. Back to the house we came. He is not a thunder guy. So we have to wait a little bit and I think it's supposed to blow over and then hopefully probably about the time I'd usually be broadcasting I will be taking him for his trot. So welcome to your early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum, America's kick-ass coach and psychologist and oh one of you found me early. That's awesome. Bonnie, welcome, welcome. Glad you are here. Um, also today I'm leaving early to go man the rummage sale again until my sister can get there. Um, but we had an amazing day yesterday. The, 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 I can't even begin to tell you how much stuff walked out of that place. So we're blessing it on its way to new people who will appreciate it and uh, freeing my dad up a little bit from some stuff. So for today, we're gonna, we're gonna kind of free ourselves up from some stuff too. So our card comes from the Wild Offerings deck. Good morning, Diane. You phoned me too early. That's good. Tosha Silver, my, one of my favorite, the, the energy of her is just, it just is lovely. I mean, I'm, I believe, I have never met her, but I believe, I've been on some of her classes. She's one of those people who walks into a room and it lights up. So I, I appreciate this card today. And the title of the card, I think we're growing beyond this title and we're going to, the words are really going to resonate um, and maybe we need to reframe this a little bit. So the card is called Impatience. Oh, I forgot to show you Ganesh. There's Ganesh, our uh, overcomer of obstacles. So anytime you have an obstacle and you're wondering what to do about it, call on Ganesh. Our word is Impatience. And so let's just enjoy the flowers, too. Uh, artwork on these cards is by someone named Katie Daisy. And they're just a whole lot of pretty little wildflowers. So let's take a few nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Just letting your shoulders drop, just wiggling. I can tell I was carrying very heavy boxes yesterday. And it's interesting, too. I can see the changes in myself and in my dad. In the past, I, there, um, I wanted, there's three boxes upstairs that had dishes in them. My mother loved china sets. So there were three sets up there that I wanted to bring down and bring over to the warehouse to part with. <coughs> so after we had worked all day at the rummage sale yesterday, I said, I'm gonna bring those three boxes down. And he looks at me. <laughs> And I said, I'm going to slide them down the stairs. So that's what I did. I kind of angled them across the edge of all the steps and just slid them down. And I'm like, yeah, in the past, I would have thrown that on my shoulder and down I would have went and it would have been fine. But yeah, not so much anymore. But all the dishes are down. They're priced. They're loaded, ready to go over to the warehouse. So any of you who are in the Appleton area and interested in some China, we've got it. Impatience. I want you to just hear these words, these beautiful words, breathing in, breathing out. I can tell I'm ADD as heck today. Breathing in, breathing out. And breath is one of the things that settles me into right here, right now. I hope you find that it does the same for you. So here are our words. My life is unfolding in divine timing. All delays are beneficial. I love that line. All delays are beneficial. I am always at the right place at the right time. Now, is that not a lovely card? Is that not a philosophy of life that when you live from it, you're going to be a whole lot happier and more at peace? Yep. And again, um, she titled it Impatience, which I think is one area that would impact these words, but I think there's many, many areas. And I think, again, we're up leveling as a species. We are up leveling, even though it looks like a shit show out there, out of that chaos is going to come a new order, I believe. And 
I think we're going to be stepping more and more into this. My life is unfolding in divine timing. In other words, we're not going to muck around with it all the time, trying to make stuff happen, trying to force things into our timeline instead of the universal timeline. My life is unfolding in divine timing. All delays are beneficial. And I'm going to put the word delays in quote, because in divine right timing, there's no such thing as a delay. It's all unfolding exactly as it's meant to do, right? So delays is a construct in our mind. We've created that idea that it's a delay. It's not showing up in time, our time, not divine time. All delays are beneficial. I'm always at the right place at the right time. How's that? Oh, and three more of you have popped on. Your names haven't rolled, so I haven't called you, but I'm glad you all found me this early in the morning. This is good. This is good. So I'm going to read it once more, and I want you to just breathe and tune into how do I feel about this? Where in my body do I feel this? Literally, good morning, Joe. Welcome, welcome. And cool, I just saw your tall ships post from Marquette yesterday. Glad you had an adventure. That is awesome. So I'm going to read it again. I want you to breathe into these words. I want you to notice where in your body you feel them. And then I want you to ask the question, what am I meant to take away from this? And by take away, I mean live into, okay? It's not just you tuck it in your pocket and carry it around with you. It's you live into these words, okay? My life is unfolding in divine timing. All delays are beneficial. I'm always at the right place at the right time. Just notice within how those words resonate for you and how you'd like to live them today. How you'd like to live these words today. I am definitely going to live these words today. One of the fun things I'm going to do today is I'm making coconut cream pie for the first time. Made a lot of pies, but never coconut cream. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Vicki loves coconut cream and she's coming to do the rummage sale today. So we're going to have coconut cream pie. So that is our card for today. I think it's a lovely card. I think it's a card we can all live into more and more. And again, I believe it will yield greater happiness and peace of mind. When we firmly believe it's all unfolding exactly as it's meant to, how can we be anything other than at peace? So have an awesome day. I will see you again tomorrow. Remember you're capable of far more than you think you are. Bye-bye.